Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm not from that's Tack Bits. So, got a situation going on, of course. They got the My Sharon Osiris thing going around. And because of that, the kids can't go to school. Kids can't go to school. Mom, dad, grandma has to stay home and watch the place and let the kids e-learn. That's what we're doing in Canada. So, they're sending out Chromebooks all over the place, but we don't have enough for everybody. People have to share. Kids aren't good at sharing. So, ultimately, we have a basement find here. It is, um... It is an Acer Aspire 1Z, and I'm going to get this thing going well enough so that uh, we can do some homeschooling off. I'm going to be doing a teardown, I'm going to do a benchmark, basic game review. Anyways, hang on, check it out with me, guys. So everything on here feels very slow and laggy. We got 4 gigs RAM, 1.6 gigahertz on a CPU N third generation. Now, what an Intel Pentium N is, or they just call it Pentium, it goes Intel Atom, Intel Celeron and then Intel N and Over here we can see that we have Intel HD graphics. So once again, not the best not the worst I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to play Fortnite on especially since it has a 5400 RPM uh, Hard drive on it. We're gonna to have to see if we can update that to an HDD or sorry a solid-state drive and man, this thing's riding hard on the hard drive and the CPU bouncing back and forth. Now, we'll give this thing a factory reset and we'll see if it helps it out at all. You know how a lot of people say, I just need a computer for schoolwork? Well, let's see if this actually fits the bill. Will this actually go just for schoolwork? Because once again, that's the reason why I'm fixing an update in this thing. We're all, on, we're all on lockdown and the neighborhood kids need more tech in order to do their work. There is a lot of bloatware on this, baby. Alright, I got all the bloatware off of this sucker, but it's still slower than molasses in February. Next step, I'm going to get a solid state drive, open her up, swap her out, and hope that helps. Okay, so I got the first benchmark done. That's a very promising score, 679. Not bad. If I can't beat 250, then it's usually too slow to go. Having some problems with the Direct X 12, but I'm going to see if I can fix that or help that out with a new hard drive. Next up, of course, we're going to do a teardown of it. All I'm going to do is take out all the Phillips head screws around the sides. Make sure you start with this one and make sure you be real careful. This is the DVD drive. You unscrew it there and then be very careful trying to take it out. Unfortunately, since this unit has aged, it, uh, it's a little bit of a snap, but I can get that back on. And then after you do that, you'll want to get a spudger or a guitar pick. You're going to have to pick these open. There are clasps. There are little hooks in there, plastic ones. So yeah, after getting that thing out, I definitely recommend that you uh, unclip from the back and open from the bottom, I should say. Anyways, we're getting in here. We're going to have a look at what's going on. We've got some uh, heat piping going on over there. All of the major kibbles and bits is under that shielding right there. But all I really need to get at is the hard drive right here. It's where the CD drive came from. And yeah, you can't change out the RAM. Don't even bother trying, but if you are gonna get in here, I gotta warn you about this cable right here. Be real nice and dainty, you don't wanna break that one. I'm gonna upgrade this to a solid state drive. All right, I swapped that hard drive out. Man, it took about two hours. And we're starting again, DirectX 9, getting almost five frames per second. Here, once again, we have DirectX 10 going from 0.5 to uh, 3.61 uh, frames per second. So, of course, unfortunately, I couldn't upgrade the RAM. But by having a faster hard drive, I can increase the swap file size and speed. And here comes DirectX 11. We are maxing out at about 6 frames per second. Those space jellyfish are just pinting away. Once again, the DirectX 12 hangs up in the same place it did before. Okay, so I definitely expected a little bit better than that, but the fact that it can't handle the DirectX 12 test definitely nerfs that score, but it's definitely good enough to be used as, uh, as something for school, and we need as many systems as we can get right now. Did I mention that it's touch screen and it can lie down flat on its back? You can do so much with that kind of stuff. Anyways, nice system. I wouldn't pay, uh, geez, 
150 bucks probably wouldn't pay more than that for it but it'll get you by in a pinch if your grandma just needs something for facebook this could definitely be good because it has a nice big screen and a camera for that i'm gonna give this thing a thumbs up anyways ladies and gentlemen that's it for me net from nestack but it's like and subscribe if you like this stuff it's always appreciated folks and as always folks take care of each other <laughs> hi fellas hi dear guess what i've started swearing swearing eh how about you, Daniel? Are you swearing too? Not yet, but Jerry's gonna teach me.